to spill my seed. Huh? What? Ew. Yo, what is going on, man? We back with another video, man. This right here is Kinging Ashara in straight hands, man. Hey, y'all been begging for this. I ain't gonna count, bro. I've been saying not to do this, but y'all been straight begging for this, man. I ain't gonna count, bro. But hey, I, I y'all gonna have to hit that cash up or something. Y'all gonna have to hit that cash up or something. No cap, man. If y'all well, y'all want these to come back. But anyway, man, we got some beautiful ladies in. Y'all go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you. It's girl day you can find me on instagram at d-a-e dot l-e-t-r-e-s-e -E, and that's for any social hey y'all it's your girl ganja all my socials are ganja goddess and you can find me on tiktok at fairy ganja and make sure you subscribe to my youtube what's up y'all i'm kiara also known as kiara xox you can find me on youtube kiara xox tiktok dot kiara xox and ig underscore underscore she okay oh, oh what? Super okay she's coming to save somebody no cow I'm a villain. You know, oh, she a villain then. Hey, they like that. They like the bad girl. You know, it ain't gonna count. I like a regular workout outfit. Okay. Around. Work it out. You know what I'm saying? What's that J. Cole song? <laughs> Work out. You know what song I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, the fat red guy. The one who jumps head first into this environment must not know the value of life or has a goal he is thoroughly determined to achieve. Oma Tokita, my question to you is, why do you participate in the Kangen matches? Sets not kill you! I am going to destroy you! The Kurai family has lived by the sword for 1300 years since the Nara period. The conflict, oh. the optimal method to resolve a conflict. Tell me, what do you think that is? In the name of the president of the Kangan Association, I declare the commencement of the Kangan oh, Annihilation oh, Tournament! Give me my hand! Oh, that they blow. Oh, he like something from Attack on Titan. Right. They look like they bite. Oh yeah, do look Ooh. like that. So unlike the last players. two vids I made where it was kind of story driven, this is kind of like that but quadrupled the fights. This show is pure boxing with a side yeah, of plot. Now before show. we get into it though, I know the way it looks mm -hmm. might throw people off. It's CGI. I thought it was ugly oh, too at first, but I gave it a chance. <laughs> And people like comparing this to Baki, but honestly, I dog. prefer Kangen over Baki. Say, at least Baki, when it comes to like the Baki. fight scenes. Because the yeah, best way to put like it is, Baki, Baki is superhumans who sometimes use martial arts. While Kangen is mainly martial arts, but sometimes they become superhumans. You get what I'm saying? Oh, okay. But enough, yep, yeah, yeah, let's get into the oh, show. Alright, so we around 30 seconds in and we already about to see a fight. And for some reason, this old man was just so intrigued on seeing this. And the first thing that came to mind was a uh, weight classes exist for a reason this guy gotta be 6'5 250 pure muscle and on that. Oma's at oh, most yeah. six feet flat hey, maybe no 170 yeah, to right 180 now. like it doesn't look good but then i, I remembered mean, i'm watching anime they Ronette come out the womb knowing how to box so this guy rips Yo. his shirt off for some reason <laughs> i know his tailor pissed weave Ooh. then he starts dodging yeah, everything nice he threw but i gotta give credit where credit is due stepping on a glass and kicking it was an excellent play even if the follow-up was trash mm -hmm. read him like a book then dude was talking about some are you gonna keep running away you're the one who wanted this fight so come at me i right, if you say so bitch yeah, how that nose feeling? Then dude starts having a temper tantrum, runs in just to get a shin to the mouth, force that boy to take a knee. So he's going to try again, but this time it's in slow motion. Grabs the arm, breaks the elbow, but it's a two for one special. He said, give me that shoulder too. Not going to lie, if someone got me looking like this, I'm playing dead. Oh, yeah, You're not about to be on me any longer. And look at his face. He's like, damn, bro. Was this necessary? He I gets back away. up in instant stun lock. Then he starts Vegito-ing him. Great leg kicks. Hey. Double kick to the face. Oh. One to the gut. He's hits the already up, messed up He's arm. And with this last kick, he was done for. But he said, oh, nah, yeah. I got one more for you. 
Van Hugh walks oh. off all casual like this is a weekly occurrence. He has a scheduled ass beating every Tuesday. Like, yeah, so we cut nothing. to the old head dealing with his power yeah, trip and boss when he randomly gets caught up to speak with the chairman. Then he started yapping about how violence is necessary but uncontrolled violence is pointless. Then he gave us an entire origin story and why he said that. Something about how when merchants disagree they threw hands about it and even to this day that tradition oh. still exists. The whole time old head just sitting there like okay what that gotta do with me and all that was to he say like, that there's oh. gonna be a tournament arc and turns out the person who was fighting for the company was a guy oma body in the alleyway i don't know if oma calculated all this but now he's the one that's gonna fight for the company and old head was tasked with being his caretaker so but fast man. forward a little while when he's pulling up to oma's crib and this dude lives in he's the middle of shit, nowhere man. needing a map to man, find a house is scared. crazy and this not even his house for real he found a him. random building and said oh yeah this will do the doorbell doesn't work the floorboards are rotten and to make it worse oma walks around the corner with blood all the over fuck? his body and he Dude, got the nerve to go dude. what are you doing walk back away. excuse What's me buddy he yeah, ain't yeah. the weird one so I'm he scared. turns around and sees a giant boar behind him and you know that's his meal for the day i doubt there's any type of seasoning on that Ew. shit Ew, and nah. eating that fresh off the pan to straighten the andrethal behavior oh, taste buds word. burnt but oh, that's yeah, when that's the spider season. sense goes off Man, two hey, randoms man. burst through the door trying to fight oma but old head immediately recognized who this was he's a famous kickboxer from russia he gonna get close weave 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 weave, weave, weave slip Ooh. weave slow mo <laughs> Yeah, you broke into the crib. Don't this. expect a fair it's fight. An and his homeboy is gonna step in, but he stopped him talking about some. No, I told you I got this. Yeah, yeah, sure, pal. Fuck off me. Well, today was not a good day for that guy. Broke into a dude's house demanding a fight just to get your jewels checked, oh, yeah, then Damn, proceeded to get off by your own you. man's. Yeah, I know he and yeah, I acting like mad as hell right now. <laughs> Nothing went his way, but this guy didn't fight fire. him anyway. Yeah. He just said he's gonna see him later. Oh so God. then it literally cuts to that day they about a box. But this fight is under their bosses. Whoever wins this match, their company gets around 900 mil to have a building built in this area. And I oh. thought this was a secluded one on one, okay, but so nah, they got a nah, crowd nigga. of rich folk placing bets. And since Lamillion is undefeated, <laughs> they gonna place their money on him. All I'm saying is have that wallet ready. They both run in. Lamillion gonna dash into the punch to reduce the damage. Easy block into the double weave. Blocks the three piece. Step back. Here. Melatonin. Oh, this combo ain't over. Bitch. And now we on straight bully mode. Destroying the wrist. That guard ain't gonna last forever. Oh, yeah, there we go. But that would have been too easy. He activated that ultimate skill. His pin strength allows him to use his fingers as razors. But now it doesn't matter how good that defense is. He can cut straight through his flesh. And that boy cheesing over there, but Oma had a reality check his dumb ass. He said, don't think shit gonna be this easy. But turns his... out he was able to grab his leg at the last second, dampening the blow. Yeah. And I was starting to think Lamillion kind of cool until he started calling people humans. Huh? He was claiming to be this almighty superhero. Then he went on this whole yap session about his order story, but Oma was like, damn, I think I'm feeling turkey for dinner tonight. Oh, and I find a counter to your move, by the way. Uh -huh. He gets right in his face. Lamillion goes for the finishing blow. Oh. Oma just patched his build. Find an easy workaround. To use his razor fingers, he needs the full range of motion. So a simple okay. high five counters that. He blocks the second oh, one. What? Tries using brute force, but I don't know. I guess his knees buckled. <gasps> Bitch. Still ain't let go oh. of that hand. Sidestep chin check. But hold on. Don't Ooh. forget your brain damage. And the second the Lamillion was going to attack, Oma shifted the flow. Back of the head got busted on the pavement. Damn. Yeah, Yo, this one insane. is over with. He is not. Nah, he's oh, gotta be uh, dead. First of all, you cracked the pavement and then you redesigned his skull. Nigga, there's supposed to be feet. a bone right there. That dent shouldn't be possible. And I afterwards, know, right? you know you gotta use some of that fighter money. And while they were there, they was like, Oma, why did you get involved in this? He says something about proving he's the strongest and there was a specific person he was looking for. <laughs> yeah, was but then it just it. cuts to some dude who got right. his so neck twisted, zooms out and Damn. everyone in the room got murked. And for some reason, this guy is looking for Oma. But this show doesn't waste any time. We right back to squabbling. We got Oma going against the great Kali. Now, okay. boy, you talk Kali. too damn much. Yeah, Left like hook, body, straight, hey, right, double cross. Kali. Excellent Kali. combo, but he ate all of that. Okay. Arm whip over He's the shoulder. Fighting. He gonna dodge uh -oh. the steel toes. Slip. Left hit the ribs, right hit the chest. Parry. Just knocked the ocean out of his mouth. 
He going to dodge the double but gets hit with that front kick. Yo, I'd be mm. mad as hell if I parked there. Oh, you see me on the sidelines bawling my eyes out. Oh, oh, we started car. talking about how normal people have the options to run away. While it's Broke the duty down. of pro wrestlers to face everything head on. And Omar petty as hell, he going to walk up on him and pinch his arm. Laughed in his face and pretty much called him a bitch for running away. What? That one pissed him off though. He gonna grab the shoulder, weave, taking him on a field oh. trip. And all he gotta do is move his hand, but he must enjoy swinging that air. Then he gonna take his hand off for him and pop the temple. Double hit the jaw and cross the face. But now he's back to being the bully. Got that boy on stun lock. Hey, I got Lee. Not going it was, lie, ripping the left shit. cheek with a big smile on face is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. That's a little amazing work right there. Cuff the booty oh. cheek. How he got out on cheeks? He was smiling too hard too. You know what I'm saying? He's still too freaky. Lynched on. He had him up. He had the leg up. Like, right. Anime friend never not be so said, said, "Nigga, this oh. a dead, this a diddy party. This ain't no fight." <laughs> <laughs> and slams him but he ain't done grip the entire skull pipes up the crowd before hitting him with a german suplex but he flips over and doubles it just hit him with the current angle oh. gave him a free ride at suplex city but now he's performing his finisher the backbreaker but oma gonna make a quick stop with suka and then borrow some power he escapes the backbreaker but so in good. the same motion he broke three of his fingers i'm guessing he was given a power boost and some perks because he's doing his tweaking runs in oh, yeah. my guy must have infinite stamina because this combo is not yeah, ending he hits him with the meanest left hook of all time ribs triple face shot double ribs mind you dude is smiling through all this but that's when he charges up a mean ass shoryuken but Kali must be Ooh. one of those defense builds. Chops the chest yeah, with a broken pinky, of but he don't yeah. care about that weak shit. Hold that. Connects with a double gut punch, chin check, front mm. kick, like five more body shots. But this up. dude starts walking yeah, forward. Like... Weave. Oh, Yo, Kali is walking. so sorry, it. bro. Well, I'm up. not getting out of this one, nice. am I, stupid ass? Really just try that sorry ass command grab. And the longer I watch, the more I realize how sorry Kali really is. Every hit is in slow motion. The only reason he's still up because he's a defense See, you It's like finding that one though. minigun goon on Batman. His whole purpose oh, is to be annoying because look at Where this weave now it's just free combos stun lock body shot hook chest tank got him seeing they stars but he fight. finally <laughs> stops allowing his ass to get beat and rocks him with a headbutt and this guy is way too big to be pulling off drop kicks that move they should be locked behind the right there. My but this guy gets two hits me. and starts emoting like he wasn't just getting the beating of a lifetime I don't want to ever see you pull out the emo wheel again. So he runs directly towards Oma, wind breathing, second form. Imagine yeah, losing to a sword him. technique second when the guy form. doesn't even have a sword. Second? But to be fair, hmm. I don't know why Oma even knows that move. I've never seen that technique without the use of a weapon. But that's when the leader shows up. And without fail, they're always in overhead. So they came in here, yapped a little bit. Long story short, he announced that Kangen <laughs> Tournament is official. Whoever wins becomes the new leader. And Oma's yeah. getting excited. He knows a person he's looking for is going to be there. Anyways, it cuts to Oma Why holding OG by the neck. Because OG said combat he's combat not having him represent his company in the it, tournament. But then this combat. random it walks in. Sure. And I just by the shirt alone, bad. I know what type of guy this is. He's the hippie. The guy that's going to sound high all the time. And without fail, they're always one of the <laughs> strongest high. in the show. But Omar exactly. doesn't know the anime huh. rules, so he said, what is punk ass going to do about it? But he said, get off me. Weave, 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 weave. weave. Look at the movement tech. Look at the footwork. Omar's like yeah. 0 for 27 right now. Then exactly. Shorty talking about how Hippie's record is 39 for 15. But those 15 losses came from him sleeping in. Huh? But Omar must have spoke to Sukuna again. He trying to catch a body you? now. Parries the punch. Excellent block, but Hippie that was like, oh, so you're no faster way. now. Let's go speed for speed then. Deflects the three-piece, slips the hook. He finally throws some punches, but Oma going to dodge those. Blocks Matt, the counter, Matt. then Oma's going to use some force against him. Like. But Hippie said he's Damn. not getting called lacking. That oh. he knew exactly what fighting style Oma was using. The Nico style. But he was like, yo, didn't that shit fall off? Had no reason to say that. Oma told that boy to watch his mouth, but I'm not going to lie. Oma was going to get handled if OG didn't tell him to stop. That neck grab did not hold him down at all. But OG was like, no. look, you can't fight for me, but you can still enter the tournament. Yamashita here just has to become what? a Kengen employee. It only costs 600 bands. 
I wouldn't have said a word. Bands. I would have walked out without question. Six hundred thousand is not in my vocabulary. Yo, nigga, what am I getting out of this fight for six hundred bands? Yes, he just going through it. <laughs> That's just saying. Hell nah, Larry. And through even it. if it was, you think I'm spending over half I'm a mil just so a nigga can settle? Beef? I'm gonna need a, a Bro, bill. I met you last week, but good thing OG just happened to have that money on hand. So now they have a master to see if they qualify to become an employee. Just and Oma's going everybody. against this guy, not gonna lie. In yeah. shows like these, if you use karate, you're bound to get disrespected in some way, shape, or form. And fight! We got more. Damn. Damn. His skull got <laughs> caved in. His mouth is on the other what? side of his face. I know he's never picking up the gloves again. So then it cuts to a few weeks later when almost fully healed. And he was thinking about what happened that day. Thinking of the person he wanted to fight the most. But that one guy that was looking for Oma pulled up. At first he had no clue who this was, but then it clicked. He was the student of the guy who killed his master. And he gets through almost guard with ease. But then I realized hey, he's yo. the Hisoka of the show. Touching all over this man. And it's even crazier oh, that Oma Hisoka. isn't resisting. No, I'd be damned if another grown oh, man God. shushed me like that. But he tells Oma he might as well stop his search because he already killed the man he was looking for. He killed his own master. And now he's trying to get Oma to take his revenge out on him. But he was like, revenge? I ain't doing this for revenge. I just want a box. Our masters lost because they were both weak. But I'm stronger than they ever was. I was only after your master because I wanted to prove that. Seeing all these weaklings claiming to be the strongest pisses me off. But Thanks. now I have the stage to put all y'all in y'all place. I'ma beat your ass in that tournament. Hope you're excited <laughs> with your freak ass. And he took that your apart. Freak he ass started leaking. Grown man, by the way. And look what like he says shit. after this. Exactly, just spill it there. Let him do it. Like of my despair of losing you, I'll be able to spill my seed. Huh? What? Ew. Oh. You know, I've seen some freaky characters, but this might be top five. So we cut to the day of the tournament, and before leaving, we find out Yamashita has a son who's been a shut-in for the last 10 years. So he came here to tell him he's going to be gone for a couple days, but that's when we find out that this whole time, his son built an entire CEO from the walls of his room, but has someone else as the head so he can run in from the shadows. And turns out he's going to participate in a tournament as well, and he's hiring the Kude That's family to fight crazy. for him and they got Sorry. built in Edo Tensei eyes. I know they're gonna be a problem. But now we're back to Oma and those who were invited get to go on the luxurious cruise while the ones who paid hey, their way in has to go on his run down ship. So okay. they put the fighters in their own hey. room because obviously there's way too many people here for a tournament. They gotta get rid of the NPCs so only five people here can move on. Unfortunately Shorty got trapped in a room trying to hand Oma some water but she'll be alright. These two run in just to commit friendly fire then we see that lamillion is back but he said he wants to save the rematch for the big stage so for right now they run in duos right hook trash ass he is no longer in the same realm with us he got knocked out with that single punch you see how oma got that uppercut charged up yo that hmm. guy is dead skull guy disconnected from his body that uppercut that. got him off the ground then we cut to a million being a bully bad. and this poor guy got his temple palms the moment he got head. into that position his fate was sealed head. then we see super nigga making his entrance oma weaves the super first nigga. one he spins back weaves the second <laughs> and then they gave us a whole breakdown of his abilities and long story short instead of the classic fighting style of imitating animals he imitates weapons bullets <laughs> missiles things like that weapons? and he he claims to have no weak point, but unfortunately for him, Oma's fighting style is OP, reversal, and he's gonna smile at him too, but he's gonna boost off the wall, and I guess he doesn't aim when he shoots, cause he was going directly into homegirl. Another example why his fighting style is OP. He can stiffen up his muscles and pretty much becomes vibranium. So he's gonna fly in just to get knocked out by Oma's back. And with that, all the NPCs got taken out. The remaining five now gets to go on the main cruise. Then this guy takes off his mask and yo bro, you are too big to be moving your hips like that with your buff ass. 
But anyways, this guy started questioning the leader, asking him what was the point of all this. But old head hit him with the I don't speak to broke niggas and got knocked off the ship by a background character. So now everyone's on the ship, but it doesn't mean that you're safe. Since the fighters aren't registered until they reach their destination, that means they can be replaced. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Kaneda here is asking to become the new fighter for this guy. So Himuro said, I bet. Why I'll end this quickly. Like Great. Let's not hold any grudges, bitch. Stop running that damn oh mouth. Himuro said, don't get too cocky. If you can last one minute, I'll give you my spot. Yeah, okay, so he's a southpaw. My best bet is to focus on his Who's left hand and start hand. Bitch, I'm ambidextrous. Left gets blocked. Right rocks the gut. Blocks a two-piece, but that left was too fast. Blocks the right hook, but spun back with the right kick. That boy was not ready to eat an entire combo. But he's on guard this time, so maybe it'll go better. Blocks the right. I think he blocks the left. Nearly got his dome piece caved in. Saves his ribs. Bro struck down from the moon with this. Who is that nigga right there? That's what was messing me up. Like, the the little freaky grandfather from Family Guy. That's what he looked like. Oh. He doubled it. He blocked this one, but that wrist gonna be aching. Oh yeah, we know that body shot connected. Brought him off his feet a little bit with that one. Then clocked his temple again with the shoulder. Make that a month of pain. And now that guard ain't looking too good no more. I know his chest bleeding with that one. Bro even got a smile on his face. Yeah, that guard is broke. And this time he moon punched his neck. The entire left side of his body is blinking red. He needs his flask immediately. And that right arm I'm gonna need a cast after this <laughs> then ends it with a punch to the forehead but he's not done he repeats the combo damn comes back in a damn. Damn. oh yeah we They're ain't really done that shot. and was this guy not wearing shoes this whole time were you oh. walking around this oh. cruise he barefoot somebody arrest this man yeah. if you have a nose is bound oh. to get assaulted with this I'm guy on the loose him. but he gets back up and actually lands a hit Himro goes back to bullying oh. that boy but when he goes for the knee <laughs> Amazing Damn. counter, incredible Damn. counter, excellent counter. Yeah, that was executed was perfectly. Out, he actually Damn. put him on that his knees too. Off. And this is yeah, when Himro yeah. respected him as an actual yeah. opponent. So now he's going to put his speed to use. Inhale that jab. Side of the head. Blocks the punch. Goes for his own. Nope. Uppercut elbows. Insane work. Fed him a two piece after that too. And he oh, better he be ready. That guard's on critical bitch. Yeah, Switch to first person. Right. He gonna block the damn. He, on. he stops the right. That weak ass shit. Stops the mm. left. Elbow the arm. That's a two piece. Then hold this knee. Then he kicks him to the ground. Goes for the final blow. Oh. Please don't break his arm. <laughs> and you it's know Hero's gonna keep it. fighting cause pride Dad. tries comboing with one hand but i just gets him a dose <laughs> of melatonin ribs <laughs> uppercut then just kicks the broken up. arm and i guess canada has a sharing gun now Imagine. he dodged before he even threw out the kick the but he really it. does have a sharing gun steps back the kick laughs in his face then he grabs his entire <laughs> head one hand for support the other cradling the oh, jaw God. Then he Damn. starts stomping him out. Gave him like Damn. 10 kicks to the face. So yeah, he, he became the new so fighter good. for this guy. And yeah, he did win. But that Sharingan skill requires him to get his ass beat first. It takes him a little while to use it against different people. And if he was going against someone like Lamillion, he would have got cooked. Blocking is not an option with that guy. I don't yeah. think he's making a far in this Kashi tournament. Never. But meanwhile, we're back up on the top deck when this random deck, when this random pulls up, and I'm confused on what the weather is. Bro got on the North Face with the fur attachments, but is wearing the shortest shorts yeah, they could yeah, possibly find. Hard. I can't tell if it's 80 degrees or 20, but they're here for straight violence. Lamillion runs in, and allowing your face to be low used low as a doormat is a shame. But they go for Oma and airballs the first, gets the next three blocked, and then Oma continues with the excellent defense. But they jump over the kick, and I thought they landed a hit, but Oma not getting caught like that. They weave the right, grabs their shirt, tries to pull them down nice try buddy but you weigh mm. like 90 pounds you ain't pulling no one yeah, down and Oma would have went to them if he ain't stopped it. and he did that because he noticed that this was a girl fighting then she proceeds to say i really want to have your Real children never. <gasps> what the fuck? Um, what okay said? well let's just go ahead and uh, she said she want to yeah. have his children he uh -huh. knew what he had to do and got up out of there. You Yo, see that face? Man. That is a man on a mission. He saw his life flash before his eyes and had to escape with efficiency. Anyways, now all the managers met up to determine the parents. And with the first match, we got Armin. And they gave them entrances and all. Then we see his opponent and bro, is that Ronald? McDonald's wasn't paying you enough you had to get a side hustle? 
And Ronald's <laughs> fighter is this what? corner ball who got grills that say damn yeah. on him. Yeah, I want to bet a dime on your goofy ass. And his name is Adam Dudley. The Dudley boy's not going to fuck with you, bro. Both runs in. <laughs> slip. Headshot. Now he bullies the guard. Stopped him right in his tracks. Connects the kick and he may be oh. little, but them hits hurt. Adam going to throw the most obvious punch in history. Weave. 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 Like weave. Watch them knees. Like slip. Yo, the like counter that. game from this guy is crazy. He runs in again. Dodges the same haymaker. Right. He's been throwing the entire match. Tries to do some snake shit and poke the eyes. Nope. Yo, big ass on the ground. But Adam was like, don't think it's going to be that easy. You better knock me out before you celebrate. All that yapping. He starts pummeling the guard, but he just can't yeah, find an opening. Then Adam's going to throw a devastating punch. He dodged most of it, but well, even getting grazed did some damage. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know I've been disrespecting you this entire time, but getting up like that was kind of cool. Can't even lie. So, Army going to use his speed, abusing the guard trying to weaken the legs but adam just hit him with the uncle aaron hey damn that Shoulder. hit so hard he bounced 12 feet in the air Calm damn, down, bud. i couldn't even guard that punch i have to hurry and, and get back look. up ah shit. Now, Armin did jump away last second to reduce some of the damage. Runs back in, kicks the hips, two-piece the guard, attacks the gut, hop steps to the other side with the same thing, right hook to the guard, left kick to his leg, hop steps again, the uppercut gets blocked. He just trying Ooh. to keep up that pressure. Get your weight up, blue. Give up. Runs yeah, back nah, on, graze up. the cheek. Now back up, pussy. Yeah, got that boy holding his jaw. It's time to show you what I can really do. And I guess he made an artificial yeah. Super Saiyan. I don't know how he even <laughs> did that. Did he pull Eisen at Eco Gel in his pocket? But this next encounter is going to decide the match. They both run in. No way. No way you bootleg Super Saiyan just to get washed. And is the ref not going to call the match? We're just going to witness a murder? Stop. That's enough. Stop it. Hey, no, ref. We're just That's getting started. Huh? Turns out he was in again Jutsu this whole time. Armin had that boy in a submission. They explained that Armin's skill was hiding in the 0.5 seconds of someone's blind spot. So the attacker is going to see what their brain believes will happen. But in those 0.5 seconds, he puts him in a submission. Yo, Armin is a counter demon. So the next fight, we got Discord mod number 237 going up against Bruce Wayne. And I'm serious when I say this guy is pretty much a Batman who kills. We got a little backstory and bros wearing a suit murking criminals talking about justice but he's not just murking them he made examples out of them and while he's fighting big bro his girl's Dang. analyzing a fight to to pretty oh, much cheat yeah. she can figure out your breathing intervals and know exactly when you're vulnerable and big bro is way too big to be that agile giving me flashbacks like then he runs That's back in and that. i never thought i'd see the day where someone is using Ooh, police fast. breathing huh? he redirects the punch and look at the footwork block weave redirect then big boy started having a temper tantrum runs in he, redirects he and punches shit. the arm and just like Lemillion, he can slice too. He's just doing it with his knuckles. Runs in again just to get the same treatment he to the other arm. Baby. And that's when Shorty was he done with her analysis. Man. He strikes the kneecap, straight push what? to the What's gut, the then the palm to the face. Look he said, oh, that three piece wrestling. felt kind of good. Let me yeah. do it again. <laughs> He tried to grab the fabrics, but he somehow takes it off and again with the kneecaps. Then we see that these two are watching, and I don't even care what they talking about. If I was him, there's no way I'm talking to this guy. First off, you broke my arm, stomped on my face with your stank-ass feet, and took my job. We are not friends. Yeah. In fact, I'd be plotting on your downfall as we speak. I'd make it my mission he doesn't win anything. Anyways, back to the fight. Big boy goes for a slap against three fingers in the arm instead. He's gonna try again. Weave, two taps the liver. Hits him with a step back, kicks the knee, and now he's oh going God. for the finisher. Grabs the face and look at the eye contact. He making sure he knows this shit is personal. Oh. Got in perfect position for the camera too. But right when the ref was going to call the match, he awakens. The true version of himself has returned. The version of himself that was considered oh, the strongest yeah, in his village. No, the no, reincarnation no, of Indra. He's way it. faster now than before. What? He was punishing his guard. Cool that analysis show he did before is not okay. going to work. Yeah. And turns out his village buddies made the trip to see the fight as Man, well. And they were so like, cool. who the fuck I is it. that? That's not what he looked like before. Man, the things of the city must have really corrupted him. And I'm like, bro, don't act like you wasn't indulging in some things too. 
I see those eyes. Y'all boys are smoking that booth. Don't act like you're innocent. But this is when we find out Bruce was holding back. The guy's a killer, but he wasn't using his killing techniques. And when he was about to say effing and just murk, bro, is when that knee damage came back in. 700 pounds of weight on kneecaps is not Yo, a good combination. Not, and pair that with a Batman spamming lows, yeah, it was bound to give up. Like Consider that mercy. It could have gone way worse. So then he meets up with his girl. Bro, I just said you was Batman. You can't be doing stuff like that. And you know how yeah. hard a slap gotta be to bust oh, someone's yeah, lip? But then he was like, look, oh, I'll give no, you a second sir. chance. Wipes the blood off the face and... Please stop this madness. Anyways, Ryan pulls up on bro mid piss, and I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Lemillion got handled. Looks like there was a massacre in there, and that must have been a quick side quest because he had a match right after. And he's fighting this guy Mokichi, who brought his sister to the match for some reason. Back steps a spinning back fist, blocks a two piece, weaves the uppercut, blocks the double straight, responds with a front kick. He ducks the roundhouse, then he mm. dodges the punch, same time kicking the leg. Oh, hitting the bridge to dodge the punch is crazy. But Mokichi blocks the kick, but we already know Ryan doesn't play fair. He bites his hand, runs in, shoots his blood. If I was this guy, I pray that he don't die top of disease. Then he grips the shoulder, charging the shit out of this punch. I don't even know how this happened. How do you interlock fingers when bro was throwing a haymaker at your dome? Nice. But he gonna twist the arm and say he can break it with ease. Oh, Damn, man, I'm feeling you. my hand. Just kidding. He then grabs the fabrics, goes for a headbutt, and look at his face. Are you serious right now? Are you he said, serious? let me get that verse on your stupid ass. Two taps the guard, but the third one for his stomach. Man, stop all that blocking. Caught the jab to the mouth. Weave. Tripped his goofy ass. Hold this. Airball, bitch. Throws another. Reversal. Face went straight into the ground. He can see every molecule in that dirt. But the guy who beat Lemillion ain't gonna lose like this. Not to no side character. And looks like he got a form similar to whatever Oma got. Anyways, speed books. Yeah, I can tell how this is gonna go. Couldn't even give him a second to recover. Knees the gut, right, left, two taps the guard, but he said fuck that and bullies the lower body. Grabs the shoulders and headbutts him into a two piece. Then he picks him up by the neck and choke slam that boy. Mokichi gonna get out the hole though, runs back in and immediately gets a knee implant, and Ryan not even blocking no more. He just tanking hey, them. Meanwhile, Makochi's little sis has a front row seat to her brother's evisceration, but him thinking about his sister gave him the power up he needed. Oh, okay. Very two secret That's technique. Right. Two Don't fingers. You got a long no ass way finger. you had a whole flashback <laughs> moment <laughs> to just to get popped it. like that. Dang. Then he gets picked up by yeah, his neck again. Fuck? Wow, what? that is so unfortunate. I don't know I if he, I don't that. know if he <laughs> died <laughs> for real, but if he did, crazy. tough. But anyways, we sound. finally get to see Oma Box, and he's going finally. against the L variant. If L never became a detective, the match starts. Weave, and that's why there's weight classes. This little boy cannot handle them hits. And what you looking down Ooh. for? Hang. But L got it's some moves in his like duffel too. Runs in. Weave. A, a slip. Weave. Oh, no, oh, no. Nope. Back up. Like Ducks the roundhouse. Immediate follow up. Slip. Nice. Bitch. And the announcer talking about an even match, but almost really on his head right now. He goes in for the finisher, but L not gonna go out that easily. He pulls out the after image. Now, this would have worked, but he's unfortunately, he's fighting Omar. Yeah. His she technique is being the, the main character. If you can That's fight a certain way, he gonna fight better than you. Man, you can walk a certain way. He gonna walk better than you. Cause he starts clicking his tongue saying that's gonna help with his timing. And he ends up rocking, bro. How did that work? I don't know. It's Oma. He can conjure up a spirit bomb and I'ma be like, oh, he must have found a counter to your move. Understandable. But then he proceeds to use a version of L's technique and was putting straight belt to ass. Mm. This fight was unfair. At least until oh, L used his final technique. <laughs> that long hair wasn't for show. What? So Omo was getting tossed around, okay, whipped, choked, <laughs> until yeah, he was you. like, good, you passed. Passed. Oh, oh yeah, so oh, Mink, bitch. Now we playing Mortal Kombat. All your bones getting broke. L goes for the axe kick. Oh hey, yeah, that melatonin kicking in. <laughs> Receives a kick to the temple, eyes, and you can't oh, tell me bro doesn't look dead right here. But Oma said, hold on, let me ensure the brain damage. Mm. 
these Damn. hits be looking vicious, bro. Hey, Damn, Omar walks away talking about some. If you ever feel like fighting, <laughs> come find okay, me. Yeah. I don't know if he realized, but that boy is concussed. He ain't hear a single word you just said. <laughs> talking to him uh, like you didn't just charge yeah, up the deadliest kick of your life. Oh, Might have gave him permanent amnesia. Bro is gonna yeah, wake up speaking Spanish. But afterwards, we see that Mokichi actually survived. And of course, some corrupt doctor was involved. So he's probably gonna be in some randomness later but this show is stacked with aot characters the next fight we got reiner versus don't even matter because he got one tag and they must have known he was gonna get washed because the next fight started immediately and we finally get to see sawada get in the mix going up against so popovich bro must have gotten isekai after what bobby did to him but they didn't even fight then we get the behind the scenes they and Sawada's manager was forced to forfeit. But he spins back, doing, knocks the oh, dude down, and he was pissed. Oh, the other guy gets her. back up, but he was like, oh, a 3v1? Huh, I'm fuck? used to that. Is that a hair? Bro was doing all this jumping around <laughs> just to get his head. face imprinted into the floor. And I hate dumb characters in anime because I promise you can hit them with a nuke oh God, and they just going to laugh it off. Right. Then so Pokovic runs in, getting immediately hit with an ultimate, but he just tanked it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into the next fight we see our boy coughing up blood no not like this don't tell me he got the uchiha curse they really gave him the itachi nerf bro was too strong had a balance patches build and i just noticed him and baki both wear that same mad shirt it's just two different colors they really be shopping at the same store but with this next fight we got the african mercenary mutaba going up against so i don't know bro's name i i just i just know he got some screws loose. so he runs in and immediately takes mutaba down but i don't know how you mount somebody and you're the one who's getting like beat on it's kind of backwards four. but he ends up strangling it's Mutaba giving. and I guess he was trolling because he smiles and pops the eye out yeah this might need to get oh, censored because like right after dog. he stabs the ear with the finger but y'all know what I said about dumb characters they don't feel pain he said let's go off right and took out both of Mutabas but he said he can one up him Ooh. boy I felt that shit through the screen I know I did too. and at the end of the day he's still a man oh. you can take out his eye and his ear but when it comes to the family jewels it doesn't matter if you're a Kratos that's gonna put any man on his knees it is. and one thing you should know about Mutaba he's been blind sweep Get your arm off me. Left, right, left, under the arm, get off me. Then hits that boy with like a 10 piece combo right here. And he's definitely in my top three characters for the show. Only because he's just like Toph. He got that area awareness thing, but like more OP. So that thing fixed his elbow, runs in, eats the kick, turns it into a slam, but gets a heel to the skull. Slip, put a hole in his neck. Somehow he ain't dead, so he runs in, gets the command grab counter, grabs the entire head. Goodbye. I thought that finished it, but he gonna end it off with two fingers into the skull. And you know he had hit the pose at the end too. But that's when we cut to Oma. And you can't be the MC of a fighting anime if you don't use image training. So he was fighting some of the opponents he's seen in the tournament. Okay. But that's when he imagined his old master. The one who created the Nico style. He imagined Nico himself. And this fight showed how Oma was only using half of what the Nico style can actually do. Like with the vibranium back move. Turns out he actually sucks at it. The guy he used it on earlier was just trash. Then he shows him another move about some vibranium fingers. He can easily break his bones with this then oma connects with the sweep kick but he just let him get that off so he can show him the next move willow which is basically a disrupting ability and we already know when oma feels <laughs> cornered he's gonna pull out them perks <laughs> did all that just to get bodied and there was this little moment when nico was like look just trust in my nico style but oma was like hell nah why would i do that when you were killed so now i know his goal of being the strongest is deeper than that i think him trying to prove his strength is him really trying to prove the power of the nico style the he's trying to prove his master's strength <laughs> more than his own but hopefully after experiencing his ass beating he's gonna stop popping them perks because every time he uses it it's gonna cost him and that's why he was coughing up blood earlier but with the next fight we finally get to see what freak boy can do and Not he's going against this guy and how do you go from a cool chinese uniform to looking like you're the head dancer at a strip club boy i know that crop <laughs> top tight as shit like but outfit. he's gonna jump in graze the cheek what? and he was outfit. like perfect i'm ahead in terms of speed oh, is that so mm -hmm. what? Yeah. yeah he corrected him immediately huh 
That boy barely dodged it. But since that left shoulder is done, he had to switch up the stance. And when shoulder. Freak Boy used that blink move again, he said, I bet. Let me turn on my Byakugan. Gets fuck? up real close. You was a bitch. And when Freak Boy stood up, bro was like, oh, you're stronger than I thought. But you'll pay for what you did to my shit. What? What Turns out when he got knocked away, he grazed the chest and whispering oh, okay. in his ear must have been so out of pocket that even Freak Boy couldn't let that slide. Bro awakened a new form just cause of that. Stripper gonna run back in though, easy reads. But hold Stripper on, is Freak Boy in. actually cold? Whatever form this is, stay in it. We like the new you. Then dude proceeds to go 0 for 27, then gets flipped over with one arm. He gets back up though talking about some. Don't get cocky Freak Boy, the battle's only just huh? Why did it take him so long to realize he was behind him? What? They're talking to the air, not give it away. That but he was like, all right, let me go ahead and end this. That's what I'm saying, like, why are you right there? He harassing you. If he survived that, I'm calling straight cap. And y'all remember this guy from earlier? Okay. Yeah, he also got dealt with. I told y'all he was going to get washed. He was getting punished by these jabs. His ability requires him to get his ass beat. We knew it was going to end well. And the dude he was fighting wasn't even trying until Kanado was like, hell nah, bro, fight me at full power. What? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I, I apologize for my... <laughs> <laughs> and now with this next yeah, fight we can see Fang, the one known as the strongest, the one who's most likely going to be the final boss of the tournament, and he's going against Okubo. I would hate to be this guy. My first match is against the strongest one here, the guy who's on a 157 winning streak I'm with good. zero I'm losses. Zero losses? Okubo gonna close in. He fakes what? the right into a command grab, but Fang hit R2 oh, and countered it. Nose leaking. Bro. Hits the leg. Leg immediately Man, bruised. Tight, Okubo hard. shows off the weave game, but caught the round kick to the arm. Arm immediately bruised. Goes for the overhand, but he grabs the skull, hitting him with the knee. But he didn't stop there. He tries spamming that shit. But Okubo gets a crazy counter off. Throws that boy down. He said, we wrestling now. And for like the next 40 seconds, they going submission for submission. Hold for hold. Hey, yeah, grapple for grapple. Really but neither one yeah, of them were like folding. But there was a point much. where Fang just yeah, lets him get them out for free. Hey, yeah. You it's allowed him to do that just so you can really? trust the guy? I told y'all this show has way too many freaks. Your strikes. What was the angle? I know. That was crazy. What, what is that? Straight oh, 69 okay. God out here. For real. <laughs> no cow. Throws. Grapples, I figure them out, and now I that I have, those. there's no way you can win. Hold on, bro. Was that a double fake? Rewind that real quick. He faked the right, went for the grapple, then came back with the hook. Oh, nah, that's, nice move, that's gotta be in the top five Feeling moves we've seen in these straight hands videos. But then he hits him with a command grab, got like four solid hits before King throws him Dang. off. So Okubo pounding. runs in, oh faking the grab that knocks the jaw. Yo, his fake out game is superb. Connects the left hook. I think he fakes a kick into a slam. Fang is going to counter the chokehold though. He slips the straight, slams him down. Bitch, this is a generational performance out of you, Okubo. It's sad that I know you're gonna lose because you're literally fighting the final boss, but you'll always have my respect. So Fang gets up and that hey, boy is cheesing. Smiling after getting their head kicked in is a problem. Speed blitz. Yeah, you're not grabbing me, buddy. Barely blocked that. And this dude is geeked out, bullying his guard. That weak ass slip. Yo ass back. Oh, and remember when you slammed me? And this dude was on the verge of going Super Saiyan, but he was like, wait, he's already knocked out. Look, yeah. I got to give credit where credit is due. He was fighting the strongest guy there and was going hit for hit. But the same can't go for Oma. He pulls up on Fang and he's so out of his league that his imagination is calling him stupid. Then proceeds to get <laughs> molly whopped. Oma, that was not a good look, bro. So, so this is the start of round two. But there's really only one more fight I want to speak on. And for the sake of things making sense, we're going to speed run this next fight. Armin versus Bruce. Armin's homies found out that Bruce was cheating, so they stopped Shorty from giving him signals but by doing that he entered full batman mode trying to inflict the most damage possible like he genuinely had armin terrified 
But that's when Armor was like, wait, you're not actually the bat. And then proceeded to put him in a chokehold and cooked him. But we cut to Oma and Yamashita when the head of the Kurde family pulled up. But he wasn't alone. He pretty much was like, look, Yamashita, let's play a game. The prize is the life of your eldest son. And of course, Yamashita Thanks. got no clue what he talking about. So they explained the whole situation with his son secretly hiring them, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know the rest. But the Kurde family didn't know about his son until recently either. So he was like, look, yo, son playing games thinking shit sweet he thinks he can deceive us without consequence using a fake ceo what a bitch but for the love mm. of the game i'll give you a chance if oma beats ryan i'll spare your son's life so the day of the fight arrives and you know yamashita gonna be blaming himself for all this so he asks oma to yeah, win no matter CEO. what and when the mc walk off without saying a word you know they mean business fighters ready mm -hmm. wait not playing Come on, Alma. I believe you, Alma. <laughs> Ryan runs in. Excuse me, stupid. He said he gonna double it though. And Oma is rushing okay. him down. He trying to end this match quick. Ryan gonna <laughs> catch the arms, but Oma said, watch your jewels. But you ain't getting no time okay. out. Hold the kneecap. Grabs the face in. I know that boy's heart dropped. He oh blinked and all of a sudden he got dirt in his eyes. <laughs> then he kicks him across the map. Proceeds to hit him with devious left rights. Weave. I know them ribs hurt. But Ryan said, I right, bitch, calm down. And Ryan said, too bad for you, bro, because I got to take over. He grabs his arm, puts him on his back, him. almost gets Not his face smashed, and educated. from this point on, Ryan is going oh full God. disrespect. Oh Slams the face to hits him with the left. Oh, you're not oh going nowhere, God. boy. Knees the face, oh elbows the back of the head. Man. He's trying to end his career. He Slams the face man. again. He said, you know what? One more won't hurt. Eh, fuck it. Let's see how far we get with this. And I know when Oma start losing, he gonna use that transformation. Bruh, oh Especially God. since oh Yamashita the center on line. Yeah, he gonna let that shit off. And this must be the pack a punch version. His entire it's skin tone changed. Speed and for the next yeah, minute or so, okay. Ryan was getting mixed. Like the combo yeah, this man was receiving yeah, should be life altering. But we already know Ryan got a transformation of his own. They really just turned this into a Dragon Ball fight. Then the know, doctor right? comes out. And that's when we find out Oma's transformation is relying on his heart. So every time he okay. uses that technique, his heart is under five times a normal burden. And what? right as he said that, Oma's body started breaking down. Then he grabs Damn. the neck and that boy that's knocked him out of his red. form. And Freak Boy on the top four tweaking out. But Ryan couldn't hold on to his form either. And he was talking about some out of respect. I'ma kill you. But whenever the MC's about to die, have no fear. The master will always show up. And this mm. is always right. a time when they figure yeah, out the true way to use their power. Ryan dashed in and got yeah. hit with a mean counter. Finally, he's using his techniques. Then he follows oh, up man. with that right, dips under, grabs right, a neck, got him in a chokehold, oh, but he ends up breaking free. Runs in, thinking shit is sweet just to get a mouthful of fist. He Ooh, blocks okay. the kick, sweeps the leg, then throws him in an arm bar. Ryan gonna escape that one too though. And this is when Nico fully passes on his style to Oma. He's gonna side swipe the punch, pops okay. the jaw, but Ryan gets his leg back. Then hits him with a double Ooh. headbutt. But Oma gonna rock him with a right hook to the neck, sweep the leg down, and you see the hand shiver? That hand shiver means something. But he still ain't done. Started humbling that boy, giving him mean hooks nah, to the nah, point nah, where the ref had to nah, stop him. Nah. It felt good to finally see Oma win a match using his techniques. So Yamashita runs out and he better than me. I know you just yeah, fought for your it. life and my sons, but I'm not touching you till you take a shower, bro. Thanks. What? Thanks. I thought you know you. That's the end. Yeah. Right. Make me want to watch that. So what y'all think really about that? Will y'all go watch that? Yeah, I'll go watch the anime just so I can get the lore, like see like the relationships and everybody and shit. I need to see the rest of what we just got left off of. No cap. Yeah. The graphics and the details on the fighting scenes, I actually like it. Like they jazz yeah. up really. I like the fighting scenes a lot. Exactly. It's it's very much tea. Like I don't know. I feel like it's a, it was a, a bomb. But and a lot of face slamming, but I feel like you know the the the, the punch, the combos, and everything. Hey, it definitely keep your attention. Exactly. Like, a lot of fight scenes and enemies be boring because they like to do a lot of skipping around and shit. Those they was in there, they was not playing. Then too much talking as well. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was winning like Oh Man Ryan. That was probably the best fight of the thing. 
you know, but the kick scene, I ain't gonna lie, the kick it in the head. I was like, what? Again? Not- what? No. Like you felt it, like when they neck hurt or something, you felt it. Yeah, neck, I like... felt that neck. Yeah, I was like, damn, I feel that shit in my neck. <laughs> it was very, very good, though. You know what I'm saying? Definitely go follow them. No cap. This was a good video. I ain't gonna lie. This was a good video. I ain't gonna cap, man. Y'all go follow them, man. Hit that light. Hit that saw, man. We all. Dang. <laughs>